What's happening guys? I'm your host Emily for emilyzopertronics.in and uh, if you have already guessed what's lying on my desk this is an update on the order that I had placed from uh, Texas Instruments. Yes this is uh, the remaining items that I was supposed to receive from uh, Texas Instruments. So you might be wondering about the size of package this is a huge uh, box but uh, I do know the content that is inside I did get an update on the items that they were uh, shipping to me and uh, of my order that I placed I had uh, placed about uh, three development boards or evaluation boards and one of them was the MSP launchpad and the other two are the Stellaris uh, launchpad which is yet to be announced and uh, I did get an update on regarding the Stellaris up launch pads that they would be uh, shipped probably by uh, November so that there's still a lot of time to wait for them but now I do have the MSP launch pad uh, with me now and uh, did, this did take a lot of time uh, to be shipped unlike the free samples that we did get shipped immediately uh, soon after our uh, request but uh, this uh, package did took uh, did take a lot of time uh, to be shipped i guess there was some there was a lot of back orders or a lot of demand for this particular uh, board so i'm not really sure about that why uh, ti took so much of time to uh, send this uh, board to me anyway uh, keeping all that aside let's quickly open up this box and see what we have uh, inside the probable contents I've already told you it is a MSP launch pad but you would get an opportunity to take a look at uh, the packaging and uh, uh, the other stuff and good one thing that's uh, good to buy from the TI e-store is that they don't charge you for uh, shipping so no matter where you live across the world uh, if you want some a specific development board or some specific component that you're actually that you actually want to buy you can go ahead and place the order on the TIE store and uh, it would be shipped to your uh, doorstep uh, without any charge for uh, for the shipping and like uh, the same uh, board MSP launchpad I, I did uh, find it on uh, the element 14 uh, Indian website and I did see the price to be about somewhere about uh, 450 and another 200 rupees would go for uh, shipping plus another 50 would have been charged to charge as uh, uh, taxes so uh, the board would have come up to a uh, total of uh, probably 600 to 700 bucks so that would have costed a lot more than its actual cost so this board uh, specifically I mean it just costs only about uh, 4.2 4.2 dollars that's close to uh, 220 or 250 bucks so that's a very small amount that you need to uh, pay but uh, yes uh, you, you just need to uh, uh, make sure that uh, the items doesn't go on back order so that uh, you will have to wait for a long time uh, to have them back on stock so just take a look at that and then you can go ahead and order and uh, you would get this uh, board for a pretty cheaper price than what it's actually uh, charged outside elsewhere so I'm here I'm talking about the element 14 uh, that I already know so let, let us just quickly open up this box and see the packi packaging and uh, all that and this seems to be a pretty sturdy box so I'm uh, trying to see where I can open it from It's taking some time to open up and also some energy. The box has been sealed uh, pretty well, so yeah, so that will definitely take some time. And yes, there I have the box open, and uh, I did have the blade ready, the knife ready to cut it open, but uh, yeah, that was not required okay let's see what we have inside okay there you see you get a sneak peek of the MSP or MSP launch pad let's just quickly draw it out wow that's a beautiful package I should say okay there it is my first uh, TI uh, development board and that is a MSP430 launchpad 
and that's from uh, Texas Instruments. About the box that it comes in, that is a uh, launch pad, and uh, there is no pricing that's uh, mentioned anywhere on the board, and uh, it's uh, made in China. And this board has been fabricated in uh, the Chinese plants. And uh, let's take a look at what we find inside. It's a 14 and 20 pin dip target socket. So uh, what you're seeing here is that you can either use a 20 pin or a 14 pin uh, dual inline package, uh, IC, IC packages. And uh, we use to program and debug any MSP430 value line devices. So the emulator can also enable serial data transmission to your PC while in or out of a debug session and that's about it and also you you have a free downloadable uh, software compiler or debugger so that's a, another thumbs up for that because it's not easy uh, to find a tool chain or a, a development software for a, a microcontroller free of cost so for example 8051s uh, you really have to go behind keel mu and uh, try and get uh, the softwares uh, in all possible uh, ways apart instead of uh, in case you don't want to pay for the software so it's good if they are, that they are including uh, the development software tools also along with the uh, device and uh, included in the box yeah there you see okay we see uh, uh, okay uh, there's an MSP EXP 4302 I guess that's a board and uh, we do have uh, we do have a micro we do have two microcontrollers included in the pack and one is of 8 KB flash with a 256 bytes of RAM and a 16 GPIO so you'll get 16 uh, input out general purpose input output devices and it comes with a 116 bit timer washout timer uh, burn out and reset and one uh, I2C and SPI and uh, you have a 8 channel 10 bit uh, ADC and 8 channel comparator and uh, capacitive touch IO modules and uh, the next one also has similar features except that it has a 16 KB of uh, flash and 512 bytes of RAM and also included in the box is a mini USB cable, a quick start guide, a 10 pin PCB connection, connectors, 2 male headers populated and 2 female headers and micro crystal wow that's a, that's a lot of stuff that uh, uh, you can actually find inside the box so let's quickly open up and see what all we have okay okay that's there you see it says uh, meet the launch pad I guess this is a documentation and uh, it, it, it's a quick start guide it will help you uh, set up the board quickly and uh, I and also here you find I guess these are uh, stickers so probably uh, uh, once you have your product ready, you can uh, lay these stickers on them. And, uh, yeah, we'll keep this aside and uh, we will take a look at what we have here. So there you see in the middle of the box we have our MSP launch pad. That's our MSP EXP 430G2 and uh, yes, it is well sealed within a anti-static uh, shield bag and it is well protected under this uh, cushion this sponge here and uh, we do have uh, something on the side okay these are the add-ons that was mentioned on the kit so you have some uh, female pin headers of female connectors and we you have uh, another IC so we did see that uh, we would be getting uh, two microcontrollers one with 16 KB flash and the other one with uh, 8 KB flash so this is the second one and uh, what else we have okay we have another small package which is a uh, uh, micro crystal uh, 32.768 kilohertz so I guess this is a crystal uh, for the clock sources so in case you are using an RTC you can uh, use this uh, 37 kilohertz uh, crystal so that also goes to side and uh, we should still find uh, something in mid okay there we have the USB uh, cable so it's a micro USB to USB connector which would be used along with this board so that's a beautiful uh, set of uh, content that's inside the box and another big thumbs up for uh, TI to TI for bringing us their products
there are series of microcontrollers at a such a cheap price so and uh, it would appreciate or it would encourage any uh, students to start up with uh, using their microcontrollers the microcontroller tools and the development tools uh, without having to spend a lot not even five dollars 4.25 dollars so that's as cheap as uh, 250 rupees and uh, you would have this tool delivered to your house at free of cost and you also get a lot of add-ons and uh, that's a beautiful set of feature and this is how an ideal development tool should be like so a big 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 thumbs up for uh, Texas Instruments and, uh, uh, and also guys uh, if you like to buy uh, the, this product I suggest that you please do order them from the TIE store not from any other uh, local uh, sellers please give me a thumbs up and uh, do leave your uh, comments below and do subscribe and stay in touch and I would be reviewing and unboxing the Stellaris uh, launch pad uh, very soon uh, hope that we get them as soon as possible and yes that's it for today thanks guys